Good afternoon. I am Clara Hoover with the Tunica County Sheriff's Office. I'm the Public Information Officer for Sheriff Casey Hemp Sr. On today's date, August 12, 2022, just before 8.20 a.m., the Tunica County Sheriff's Office received a call from the Arkansas State Police officials stating that an inmate had escaped from custody of an Arkansas State uh, Penitentiary. This individual was identified later as Samuel Paul Hartman, 38 years old. Hartman was described as a white male, 230 pounds, brown hair, hazel eyes. Hartman was last seen wearing a white shirt, white pants, and boots, serving a life sentence for rape. It was reported to Tunica County Sheriff's Office, uh, dispatched by the officials with the Arkansas State Police, that the suspect was able to flee custody uh, and is armed and dangerous. As of 4 o'clock today, the Tunica County Sheriff's Office can provide the following update. Samuel Paul Hartman remains at large at this time. He is still believed to be armed and dangerous. We are asking the public that if you come into contact with Samuel Paul Hartman, please do not approach him, but safely get to safety and call 911 immediately. Hartman was told that he was believed to be in the Tunica County area after abandoning a vehicle just west of Tunica County um, on the Arkansas side of the river that is just west of where we are right now from the casino area. It was told to Tunica County officials by Arkansas State Police that a farmer reported to have seen abandoned jet skis on a boat ramp just 2.5 miles south along the river at Moon Landing Park. That is, if you were traveling directly across from where we are in Tunica County to where the vehicle was abandoned in Arkansas, the jet skis would have traveled about 2.5 miles south of here to where we located the jet skis. When the jet skis were located, the Mississippi Bureau of Investigations did make scene and took possession of the jet skis. It has been confirmed that a cell phone and a set of keys were recovered on the jet skis they were collected and taken into evidence and turned over to the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation where they are further investigating the owners or possible um, origination of the cell phone and keys found in those jet skis. Um, when the call came in, we urged area schools to go into lockdown as a safety precaution. Later, as the investigation continued, we were able to allow the schools to safely go into regular schedule and at 3 o'clock, all schools dismissed at their usual time. We had officers on scene at all of our campuses to assist in getting the children home safely and dismissed from their respective campuses. We can confirm that there are two identified suspects believed to be assisting Hartman in his escape. One is a white female identified as Misty Hartman. Miss Hartman is believed to be the sister of the suspect, Paul Samuel Paul Hartman as well as Linda White. She is believed to be the mother. At this time, we are still investigating the extent and the number of individuals that assisted in the escape. It was last reported to us that it is the one suspect at large and possibly three additional that helped him escape. Two of those we can confirm suspects are the mother and Miss Misty Hartman. I would like to also name the number of agencies that are assisting us with this ongoing investigation. We are being assisted by the Arkansas State Police Department, the Arkansas Department of Corrections, the Mississippi Bureau of Investigations, the Tunica Police Department, DeSoto County Sheriff's Office, the Mississippi Highway Patrol, Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks, the Mississippi Department of Corrections, and the U.S. Marshals. This investigation is ongoing and as we get information into our office we are working to confirm the validity of the information and once we can confirm the validity of that information that is as we are releasing it to you all once it is confirmed information and factual. Have you received any reports of sightings of Hartman? There have been calls that have come in of possible sightings none that have been confirmed yet. That is part of what we are also working on to confirm any tips or leads that come into our office or any of the additional agencies assisting. Is it still believed that he is in the Tunica County area? 
Right now, our agency is still believing that he could be in Tunica County and still actively searching um, our entire county as well. Do you know what time, looking at the time frame, what time he may have arrived here in Tunica? I do not know the exact time that he would have arrived in Tunica. When the call came in at just before 820 this morning, the call came in to notify that it is possible that he could have crossed from where he escaped and the abandoned vehicle was found into Tunica County. All local businesses and casinos in the area are on high alert. They will remain on high alert as long as we believe that the suspect and additional accessories are at large. Now you named his sister and his mother who could be accomplices in the situation. Now, do you have any idea of where they reside? Where is their hometown? That information has not been provided directly to us in the field yet. Um, it is just believed that they are two that are have been confirmed suspects to be assisting him. And who, do you have any idea who this third person may be? We are unsure at this time. And when it comes to the cell phone receipts, I know you said they were sent off to the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation, but do you know at this point who, is there indication to believe that those belong to Mr. Hartman and his sister or his mother? That is what the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation is processing the evidence to try and figure out at this time. Yes, ma'am. So I want to uh, expand on that. It is 2.5 miles from here via the river. Um, so that is via watercraft, the, the jet skis that they are assumed to have been traveling upon. It would have been 2.5 miles from where they abandoned the vehicle that was located in Arkansas that they are believed to have traveled 2.5 miles on the river to where we located the jet skis. From here, the way you would have to travel, it's actually about 10 miles near Moon Landing Park. And there's a lot of Yes, ma'am. So we have contacted the number of agencies that I was able to provide that are assisting on this investigation. Um, with that, that has included aerial search via helicopters. There have been drones deployed, canines deployed on the ground, um, as well as manpower that is combing through the different areas that have been uh, identified as possible locations. So we have a lot of different angles working to try and find any lead that we may have. I do not. And as far as is there any surveillance that you have? At this time, I'm not sure of any surveillance that has been confirmed to be a spotting of Hartman. And considering his charges of rape and rape of a child, um, why is it so important to give him opportunity? Anytime that we have a criminal that has escaped police custody, no matter the severity, they are in jail because of their crime, and it is always an urgency that if they went through any sort of length to escape police custody, that it is very serious priority to get them back under police custody. Do you believe that he is like imminently violent or like a risk to direct public safety or do you believe that he is just violent in general just because he's escaped combat? I cannot comment to the status of the criminal. We do know that he is believed to be armed and dangerous, so we are taking this as a very serious matter to apprehend him as quickly as possible. We ask local residents and visitors to also take this matter very seriously, as well as how we have asked our local businesses, be on high alert, keep your vehicles, your homes, keep everything locked at all times safe and secure, be aware of your surroundings, um, you know, make sure that if you are traveling alone that you have a family member or a friend that knows where you're traveling, that you're communicating safely. You, anytime this situation happens in any community, we just ask that the public and the residents, as well as the businesses, be on high alert. That has not been relayed to me at this time. Um, I believe that the Arkansas State Police is still working on their investigation to confirm those details. What does high alert detail in regards to the businesses around here? High alert relates to, we ask you to be very aware of your surroundings, high alert that there is an imminent threat of danger in the area given the circumstances. So we just ask, um, like with our casinos, we alert their security uh, with a photo of the suspect and we ask them to be on high alert, be looking out, be combing through 
Um, there's surveillances with gas stations in the area. We let them know, you know, what the description of the individual is. And so we just ask all people to be aware and if they see something, to say something. At this point, is there a focus or you guys focus in on any specific area? There is not a specific area, as I stated before. As leads come in, we are taking every lead or tip that we get very seriously and checking everything out. We're not ruling out any of our leads or tips.